Today we have Jeff with Lendo. Let's welcome him now. Great, thank you. <laughs> so, <clears throat> so a couple years ago we had uh, uh, started some internet companies. We had employees all over the world and they kept asking us for loans. And after about the tenth time we, we realized that uh, this wasn't just a problem our employees were having. Uh, it was a, a problem that w was a big problem in the emerging markets. So we started uh, trying to figure out how could we solve this. And um, in doing that, we stumbled upon the, uh, the work of Professor Yunus at, at Grameen Bank, where he involves the community in, in, uh, in lending. That, and we thought that that had a lot of uh, potential in the age of social networks. So we pushed to launch a social lending platform where the community and their data is involved in the underwriting process. And just before we launched, we stumbled upon this, uh, this quote from Zuckerberg where uh, he talked about how uh, every industry is going to be radically transformed through social. And we think that what we've built is an important component for how social networks are going to radically change, uh, change lending. So we focus on the emerging markets. And um, I think with the exception of the China presentation, most of what we've seen here uh, uh, this week, uh, today and yesterday, have been uh, in the US and, and Europe. But um, what you may not know is that the, emerging, the middle class in these markets is growing very fast. Um, what you may also not know is that uh, uh, traditional lending models don't work. Uh, there, there aren't a lot of credit bureaus. They tend to be, when they're there, they tend to be inaccurate. They tend to be incomplete. Uh, but what you do have is very rich social networks, actual relationships, families, extended families. And that's reflected in the use of social networks, uh, online social networks and mobile phones, uh, mobile uh, smartphones. Um, uh, Bogota, for example, where we, uh, where we issue loans, uh, has greater use of social, online social networks than New York City. And the Philippines, where, we're, where we launched first, uh, in our target demographic, has greater use of social networks uh, than Northern California. So very, uh, uh, very rich data sets. And it turns out that these relationships, which are reflected in the data, can be used to manage risk. Um, as you can see from uh, uh, the, the chart on the right, uh, heavy credit penetration in places like Australia, the U.S., very light penetration in the targets in the countries we're targeting. <clears throat> so what is social lending? We look at lending as really boils down to, to three things. You need to generate demand, you need to underwrite, and you need to collect. And it turns out that all three of these are radically better when you involve the community in the process. So we started with 100 people that we knew and trusted in Manila. And we, we uh, had them connect their, their social information, use their online identity to prove who they are, even though we already knew who they were. Uh, and then we said, oh, would any of you want a loan? Some of them did. So to get a loan, you have to invite your friends in. But the people you invite in are going to affect your ability to borrow in the future. So they were, there was a positive selection advice of who they invited in. From those 100 people, we now have close to a million members uh, uh, in the Lendo community, many of whom have taken out, out loans. <clears throat> but it also turns out that when you involve the community and, and their data, you make better underwriting decisions. It turns out that your reputation uh, is reflected in how you interact with people and who you choose as a reference and what they look like online reflects on you. And we've been able to use that data in the absence of rich credit bureau data to make good decisions about who gets a loan. But what's also exciting is on the collection side. So uh, in a lot of these markets, you know, people have prepaid phones, they move, they're very hard to stay in touch with. Turns out if you involve the community in the loan, you can also involve the community in collections. In microfinance, about 90% of the collection activity is actually performed by members of the community. So that'll, that gives us a way to stay in touch both digitally and through the community. Um, uh, a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the success that we have is based on these algorithms, are based, uh, which are homophily-based algorithms. It turns out that if you're closely connected to people who, who are financially responsible, you are much more likely to, to repay. Identity is very, very easy once you're in a pure digital environment. Um, you know, I, I, I took this from Mary Meeker's presentation. Uh, you know, this, the, uh, there's just so much data coming off a smartphone, you really get a sense of human, who, who a person is. Also linguistics. When a person volunteer, when they opt in and they share their online identity with our system, there's a massive amounts of text. That text can be used to understand who they are and how they think, and again, can be used to manage risk. 
So these clusters, this is just an off-the-shelf word clustering. And you can see that the pink dots are bad loans. You can see they kind of cluster around certain topics and linguistic styles. <clears throat> so what we've done is we've then taken a, a, a digital lending platform that we've built uh, that's integrated with this data, that's integrated with social networks, and then we took it one step further and literally integrated it with social networks. So we will be announcing shortly the world's first Facebook-only loan platform. So this is important because in many parts of the world, the Facebook is the internet. And also, uh, access to Facebook is often subsidized or even free. So now people lower, uh, uh, lower in the economic pyramid will be able to access loans without having to incur the cost associated with, with, uh, uh, with pure web-based applications. We also have a, uh, uh, a smartphone version, so you can um, uh, apply, involve your friends, help your friends get a loan all through our, through our Android application. Uh, and it turns out that when you have software on someone's phone, it's easier to collect from them. So I think that, that the lending industry is just scratching the surface of the power of uh, having these digital connections. For example, uh, we can put a payment reminder in your Facebook calendar, which you know, I suspect you guys might here might have uh, office calendars. For a lot of the world, the, their Facebook calendar or their Android phone calendar is how they, they manage their calendar. Um, you know, these, and there's a million things like that where you can, by digitally connecting to a person, you can, you can stay relevant and uh, hopefully uh, uh, have high repayment rates as a, as a result. Um, here's their, our Facebook only lo loan. Uh, here's an example of, um, of uh, on the web. And, and what we've done is we've essentially taken these services and turned them into a giant cloud service, what we call the Lendo cloud services. We set up lending entities and they use our cloud service to administer these loans. And what we're now starting to do uh, is open these up to other lenders in other parts of the world where they can use uh, the Lendo identity uh, and the Lendo risk management, the, the Lendo demand aggregation and the Lendo collections technology to run more efficient lending operations. We think this is how this has a, a material impact on lending everywhere in the world. Questions? Great. Thank you, speaker. Great.